Entry new acquaintances in the league. Been a long time coming. This game between these great North Dublin rivals. There was a foul by Dan Casey on Kilduff. Now quickly taken free kick. Chance perhaps for Shells here. Oh, it's bounced off the crossbar. And Kilduff following in. A combination of two Shelburne players foul Stephen McGuinness. A robust challenge from Oscar Brennan as well. There's Lorcan Fitzgerald, the former Bohemians player, trying to get something going for the visitors. There's ball into Andre Wright. Wright! Oh, he just couldn't wrap his foot around the dropping ball. The defender may have put him off there. Decent ball into the box right there, just waiting for the dropping ball, but the defender just may have put him off in the act of shooting. Great atmosphere around this famous old ground. Uh, Kilduff, a little tug on the jersey by Rob Cornwall. Might be lucky just to get away with a talking to by referee Neil Doyle. Clear pull on the jersey, that deserved a yellow. So Kilduff in the area as the wall is pushed back. The necessary 10 by referee Doyle. And Andrew in the wall. It's going to be Fitzgerald to take this, probably just dig it into the area. Left-footed, Fitzgerald. And the header from Shepard, straight into the goalkeeper's arms. Fitzgerald with a cross, Shepard with the header. Easy save in the end from McGuinness. There's been plenty of action, but sadly so far, no goals. Here's Aidan Friel for Shelburne. Here's a chance perhaps for Aaron Dobbs. Oh, he's dragged his shot across goal. Maybe Kilduff could have gambled on the ball going across the six-yard box. Nice little layoff ball into Dobbs, and he put it across the area, and Kilduff, well, he didn't arrive late, and the ball's gone out for a goal kick. Andrew. That's away from the attention of Daniel O'Reilly. This is Paddy Kirk. And now Danny Grant. Hugging that left-hand touchline, the Shelburne players backing away. To our deck, here's right, And Bowes break the deadlock in the 53rd minute. And it's Andre Wright who put the ball back from whence it came, past Jack Brady in the Shelburne goal. And Bohemians are a goal to the good. Lovely ball by Grant, nice little cushioned header by Twardek, and Wright did the rest, and Bowes lead. Finding the run of Shepard, oh, it's brilliant from Shepard, gets away from his man, and Dobbs, the one he just couldn't get the necessary power with the header, it was a lovely bit of interplay between himself and Shepard. Here's right now at the far end. Now to Twardek, faced by Fitzgerald, the Canadian. Bowes are going to lose him for the Olympic qualifiers for a couple of games. Picks out Mandrew at the back post. Here's Mandrew! And Grant, well, Grant may have put that over the line. He's going to claim it, but it may go down as a Mandrew goal. It matters not for Bohemians because they now lead by two goals to nil in the 62nd minute. Mandrew, a little dig to the back post, and uh, that may have gone in without any interception for Grant. Oh, he just peeled away, looked like he was claiming the goal. It's Mandrews, it's 2 0. Bowes on the break with Twardek. Little layoff ball, a chance for 3 0. And the substitute, Glenn McCauley. Beats the goalkeeper, but can't beat his near post. A breakaway opportunity for McCauley, and he just can't finish. And remains 2-0. There goes the final whistle. So the bragging rights for Keith Long and Bohemians as he comes to shake hands with his opposite number, Ian Morris. Very entertaining game at Daly Mount Park. Bohemians 2, Shelburne 0.